Good morning, Orcanistas. This is not a good morning. Hopefully it is where you are, but it's not where I am right now. I just got up about a little after 7 in the morning, and I was walking by a window and looked outside, and I'm missing orchids. Look at that. That should be a very big Catlia Mildred Reeves. What happened? Where did she go? Oh, this is never a good sign. Oh, dear. This is not looking good. This is the, let's see, what is this? This is my Elaine Taylor Curl Smith. This is a new acquisition. Oh, no. Uh, this is one of my little, new little um, Vanda types here. That is a better grow orchid, isn't it? Isn't that interesting that it just kind of like sat right back down like somebody picked it up and sat it there where's mildred reeves way over here knocked over one of my catacetums and it's sitting down here when normally it sits right there uh i never I guess it was high winds last night. I don't know. We didn't hear anything. We didn't have any rain that I'm aware of. Squirrel, maybe? I don't think they would do this much damage. So I just wanted to pop on here real quick onto YouTube. And show you... Sometimes the fun side of <laughs> being sarcastic, fun sides of growing orchids that you can always run into. Never fun. Yay. Hate disturbed roots. This one at least had some new roots growing, so I get to repot those today. Let's see if the pot cracked here. That was a good four or five. Four and a half, five feet that this fell. Amazing. I don't see any cracks in this pot. That's good. That's very good. I'm going to set some of these other ones up here. This one just basically lost some media. Hmm. Oops. Get some more media in it. It was falling over. Get some more media in that one. Maybe I need to put it in a clay pot to weight it down. Let's see if the Mildred Reeves over here. Let's see if I can even get to it. Now let's try the catacetum here. Oh dear. Let's see here. Uh, that one is pinched. Oh dear. See how this this is a stake here. Um, a ring stake for the Mildred Reeves. And it has caught this catacetum plant. Oh goodness. Uh, some damage there. I mean, it's okay for the catacetum here. This is my um, Rebecca Northern grapefruit pink crossed with a Mormodes. And, you know, it's going to lose its leaves. But the pseudobulb, I think, looks okay. Put it back there. I gotta figure out how to get Mildred Reeves out of here. Okay, I can't do this one handed, so I'm gonna have to pause the video and get this out from under behind here. Mildred Reeves is okay. Um,. Well, no, she's not. She does have a cracked pot here. 
Yes, and then I have a cat behind me who is outside. We have this little, little, what do you call it? A um, catio? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, yes, yes. There's one. Yes, you're not happy. It's a little too cold outside this morning. Normally, these guys love to come outside. They love to come out here. They have a big play area. They have some water. But he is just not happy that he's out here. It's, just, it's a little chilly. So I'll have to open the door and let them back inside. Yes. It's okay, Nugget. All right. Let me open the door let them back inside. I'm very surprised that this one got knocked over. I had put lava rock down here in the bottom of the pot, hoping that it would help weight, weight down the plant without, so it wouldn't fall over. Nope. Possibly the other pots, maybe. I don't think so. But anyway, repot time. Wrong time of the year, but yay, we get to repot this again. Thank you.